Hey, so today I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of the new airbrush gun that Dynair has just come out with in comparison to the old one. So if you are interested, please keep watching. All right, so Dynair came out with a new airbrush gun a couple weeks ago or maybe like a month ago or something like that. Anyways, the new gun is the CX gun. It looks like this here. So here's an image of the CX airbrush gun. As you can see, the body style is very similar to the JX airbrush gun that's right here. Now there are a few differences between the two guns will, um, that will affect the way it functions. So this is an image of the, where the gun connects to the hose, and this is the image where the gun connects to the hose on the JX. Now you can see there is a slight difference. Now the front end on the CX has a lot smoother of a look as opposed to the JX that has a little bit more of an industrial style look. Both have two caps in the front. Now, the CX has an elongated housing for where the needle comes out, and I think that attributes to the more smoother spray and less clogging. Now, in the CX, you also notice that in the front of it, it has more of like a cone-like shape, which I think helps with a smoother application and less clogging as well. Now, on the JX, you can see that more of the needle is exposed, and I think that attributes to more clogging. On the CX, it also didn't come with a lever grip that I noticed, and on the JX, it came with a lever grip that was actually sprayed on. So now that I've showed you the differences in style for the airbrush gun, I want to show you a little bit about the differences in function. Now, if you have the JX, or if you started out with the JX, you know that there was quite a bit of clogging going on with this airbrush gun. Now, um, I got so used to cleaning it so much that I didn't notice how tedious it was until after I tried the new one. Now, I would have to take the front end apart when the, when the gun would clog, I would take the front end apart because it exposes the needle and I would have to wipe down the needle in between maybe three, two or three colors, depending if I'm using shimmer colors, every time between the color shades. Now, with the new airbrush gun, because the way that the front end is made, it does not clog. I'm telling you, it does not clog whatsoever. I did not have to clean this baby once and I used it for my full makeup application. The only thing I did was put a little bit of cleaner and um, of course ran that through in between certain colors. Other than that, I never had to take off the front end um, to clean the needle. I mean, it's it's pretty awesome. The design of this is just, I mean, it's, it's this is breakthrough stuff here. So because um, the gun is made the way it is, it, it makes for a really, really smooth application. I noticed that um, I was able to do my air shadow and everything, and I, everything was just so easy to do. It was practically effortless. It was awesome, and I, like, I'm really happy with this new gun. So I want to show you a little bit about how the gun works. So what I'm going to do is just going to spray on a tissue to show you the differences in um, spray pattern between the two. Okay, and I'm going to use bronze rose so you can see it like I applied my blush today with it oh my gosh guys the application with this gun is just so smooth I, I don't know how they did it but I mean whoever figured out this front end is just genius genius but I'm going to show you how smoothly it sprays okay one drop okay so I added one drop into my CX this is a CX so you can see okay turn my compressor on Okay, and this is at 12 o'clock, guys. This is 12 o'clock. I'm going to show you how nicely this sprays, okay? I mean, it's smooth. It's just so smooth. My God. I mean, look how fine that is. I mean, I could not get that with the JX to save my life. But let me show you what the spray is like with the JX. Okay, this is the JX. This is the JX. A little clogged up in there. That's kind of normal for the J though. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the JX. So I just want to show you what they look like side by side. The one on the left is the JX and the spray on the right is the um, CX. Now this is a CX here and you can tell it's really fine. It's almost like a haze of color and I sprayed it at the same um, speed guys. This is a JX and you can see that it's more um, concentrated as well as you can see like patches of the um, bronze rose there. So here's an up close of the JX and like I said you can see splotches of the bronze rose kind of speckled out all around and then this is the CX where 
where it's just like this mist, which is what you want your airbrush makeup to look like. Hey, now as you just saw, the spray with the new CX gun was so much smoother, so much fine, and that's just a glamour line, guys. So imagine what it would be like with the color foundation and the color colors. Today I used a color shade on my eye. Oh my gosh, it just it just sprayed beautifully. It just sprayed perfectly, and I didn't have to worry about cleaning out that color shade right after. I went in to use a shimmer shade, a regular shimmer shade. It was taupe shimmer that I used, and I mean it was perfect. It didn't clog or I. I cannot tell you enough how great this gun is. So if you do not have this gun in your kit, I definitely, definitely recommend that you go online to airbrushmakeup.com and get this airbrush gun and swap it out for the JX. I'm telling you, you will not run into um, problems. It'll cut your time in your makeup application. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's just amazing. It's amazing. And I'm, I'm just ecstatic that I, I get to play with it and that I get to use it and that I have it. So... I mean, definitely, definitely go check it out. I mean, if this spray test does not, you know, convince you, I don't know what will. All I can tell you is it is the superior airbrush gun between that one and the JX. So if you have any experience, questions, concerns, or comments about the new CX airbrush gun from Dynair Airbrush Makeup, please comment in the box below in the comment box. I will be happy to answer any questions for you and just give you my full-on experience. Of course, any questions that I answer based off my personal experience. No, I am not working for the company. Um, I just, I love Airbrush makeup and I definitely love Dynair Airbrush makeup. So please comment in the box below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.